Hello there my wonderful fans, welcome back. With one year anniversary of Megs at Lumen ever closer, Harry and Meghan's gap year from their senior royal duties is almost over. Now, to maintain their independence, the couple must make their case to the Queen. After stepping down as senior royals on March 31st, all eyes were on Harry and Meghan to see how the couple would adjust life outside the palace. As it turns out, the young couple has seemingly flourished away from the constraints of the crown, with a lucrative Netflix deal under their belts and a podcast on the horizon. The Duke and Duchess seem to be leaving no business stone unturned. Now, as with Meg's anniversary less than three months away, The Sun reports that Harry and Meghan will have to re-enter negotiations with the palace when it comes to their independent ventures. According to the publication, the Duke and Duchess will be having video calls and face-to-face -face meetings with senior members of the royal family to discuss how their future status looks. Under scrutiny in particular will reportedly be Harry and Meghan's Netflix and Spotify deals, with the royal family and their aides addressing whether these projects meet the values of Her Majesty. Although experts are certain that no speed bumps will be encountered when it comes to these ventures. Speaking to CNN's Max Foster, well, author Omid Scooby drew similarities between Harry and Meghan's non-profit projects and the work of the monarchy, claiming the couple's social impact upholds the value of the royal family. But even with comparable values, it seems the Sussexes have no intention of reclaiming their titles as senior royals. The couple are instead intending to leverage these negotiations to make a plea for a Megxit extension. They want a more permanent agreement to continue as non-working royals in California. Although relationships with and between the royals and the Sussexes are reportedly much better than they once were, Scooby has claimed that Harry and Meghan are looking forward rather than back. And this could be why, in their quest to seek financial independence, Harry and Meghan have already sealed a reported $200 million deal from Netflix and another $30 million deal from Spotify. Hey, you go guys, do you, and who cares what anyone else thinks? What do you guys think? Comment. Like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Sheldon Moon, and goodbye for now.